What is going on people, it's Double Code here and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now last video my mic was a bit bad, but it's definitely an improvement on my video not recording at all. So um, also I'm talking louder, I'm going to try to project more into my microphone. So last time I left off, we came to Bogana, uh, we found BD-1, and we're on our way to the vault up there. But we have to take a detour because we can't get up there yet. Uh, let's go in here, do a sneak attack on this guy, boom. Oh, turd. Boom, take that. Okay. Uh, scan some more stuff, get some more lore. Parfish. Parfish and have it. Okay. Uh, where are we going again? Let's get our stuff right. Let's uh, head up here, up, and get going. Okay, gotta get out of the way. Cool. Why are you flashing? That was weird. Here we're gonna get more uh, backstory on Cal as well. Interesting enough. Let's open first. Okay. What do we have here? Czar. So it's a plant. Okay. Oh, flora and fauna. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Hop up here. And it's looking for us to scan here. See something in there? I'm not scan. Uh, use our horse ankle ability. Little lizard thingies. And more platform abilities. Try again. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Okay, Master. So, now we have the ability wall run. Reach my position. I did it. Persistence and the Force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Okay, now we can wall run. Make it to the vault. And actually, since the episodes have been... I've been moving faster. I actually maybe get some new stuff, I don't know. These episodes should be pretty fun. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Right there. Look at it. There's also a thing up here that we can get. Look right. I messed that up really badly. Uh, am I? I keep. I have to remember to project. Especially. Because my mic. Okay. Oh, that was great. My mic can only do so much if I'm not talking loud enough. It's gonna sound really bad. Quiet. So I'm gonna try. There we go. And a little echo for us. Getting close this to area was used too. for meditation. There's someone familiar with the Jedi Order. I'm curious to me. It says someone familiar. But I think it was, so it, it could be a Jedi. Could also not be a Jedi. Someone familiar with the Order. A Sith? Well informed, force sensitive. I don't know. Another faction completely? Who can tell? Only time can tell. I guess. Okay, let's get on our merry way. Back to the vault. And the elevator. Oh, I missed it. I thought I was gonna die. Jeez. Okay. I'll go fight him eventually. I'll go fight him eventually. Um, but we can echo here. Maybe a scope on it. 
This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Let's go point. No. So I'm the vault. So I assume we have other people up in here. Not Jedi though. Or not Sith at least. I don't know. Him. Get off. Mm -hmm. Fine. Get on you. Another lightsaber piece. Let me see if it's not it's not right, before. Something was in there. Uh, the poncho. So yeah, I got uh, the poncho. You change your poncho. But I like the jacket, personally. So I'm just gonna, gonna stick with that. Ugh. This game is. I really like this game so far. I know I'm. It, I had some trouble recording stuff, but the game itself, I, I do love playing so far. <laughs> What was that? Cow, you're, you're embarrassing me here. You're embarrassing me here, Cal. So the second jump, the second time, that was definitely my fault. I don't know it was his fault, though. Okay, and we've reached the, reached the vault. In record time. Racy there? Oh, it's on. Wait, no. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Sure. Probably. I'm gonna hit here. Wait, did we get a skill point? No, I don't remember. No? Okay. Okay, let's get going in here. Find what we're looking for. Really cool ability. Uh, I don't think we can explore too much. Sure, when you're moving, there's stuff like lightsabers coming off people or stuff. But this force echo thing is really new to the current canon. I think it was definitely in Legends stuff. But uh, wait, hold on. Let's see something. Yeah, Legends What's definitely. It was, it was too new. But in current canon, they're adding back a bunch of stuff. And this is definitely one of them. It has been in movies. Thanks for the help. Inscription. Oh, uh, vault built. This place is pretty ancient, I think, so. Let's head in here in the darkness. Amazing. Find what we're looking for. Mm. Here we are. We've reached the vault. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Hmm. Jay Holocron. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. <laughs> No, 
I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. These two. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? <laughs> See, it's a good thing that we have to go through this, all this trouble. Because otherwise, Sith could just come here and find all his holocons and kill or take in force sensitive children. Force sensitive meaning that they can use the force. And that's not good if they, if they would get their hands on it. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Uh... Oh, here he is. Ow. This box was so easy last time. Oh, good. Ugdo. Ugdo. Really ugly thing. A little help. On the man. Let's find a ritual or a meditation point too. It's probably one on the way. So we can spend that skill point. This thing. This is how mm. it is. It's really interesting. It's a giant skeleton. What's this? It's a thousand years old. Random skeleton. Let's head on now. Hey. Hey. I think it's sealed. Okay. Let's just go. Let's do this. Oh, watch it. I think I should have a video one. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. So... That's just, uh... Yeah, that's what he said. Dathomir is, uh... The home of the Night Sisters. They're like ritualistic force users, and also where Darth Maul, Darth, Ma Darth Maul is from. Of course, there are some um, neutral force users out there, so maybe that's what the, the Zephyr are like. They're neutral. So uh, they're neutral. So dark places might just be the force of them. They might not believe in dark and light. Okay, let's use our skill thing. Last time I got more health or more force. So I'm gonna just do it again. So why not? It's always useful. And I have more force. And uh, we're, we have a lot of time left and we're much further than I was before. So let's keep going. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Okay, I almost fell. I've been bad. I was cried. Oh. I keep thinking I'm gonna fall at some point. Okay, and here we are. What's over here? So I've explored everywhere. Oh, hi there. Let's go, BD1. For sure. Can I make it? I don't know. Let's try. Nope, I died. 
That was fun. Huh. How do you get over there? We might need another force power, I don't know. Or in there. Cause I I don't know. I don't know if I wanna continue the story. Or if I just wanna explore a bit more. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. Am I zip line or Thank you. Okay, that lag almost killed me. Uh, I don't know, can't get back from here. Let's just keep one of the stores. At least, at least get to uh, Ze the Zephro, Zephro, their home world. That thing though, that looks like a boss. That's scary, I'm not fighting that thing. Yeah, meet up with our friends. You passed the test. Yep. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll Keep talk again. inside. Project, Zach, Doba, we have a Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil state out of Patoli Mead fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. This droid is great. Yeah. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi oh. named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Oh, Seth, right? Anyone force sensitive uh, strong enough to do it? Use the force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. Yep. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. Like Luke. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir <laughs> Zepho, it's your choice. Alright. Here's a little thing. Hey, Grease, what's this? Multiple. This thing. What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. All right. And now we'll get going to... Let's go to Zepho. Zepho homeworld. So next, let's go to... So this is a... What kind is this? That's Zepho. Let's go to Zepho. Zepho's the one I know least about, so... 
So I know about Daphimir a bit. There was no Clone Wars TV series as well. So if the order thing is rebuilt, do you think any Jedi will come out of hiding? Mm, what makes you think there are a Jedi hiding? No, I'm just curious. Is there someone specific you're thinking of? Yeah. Well, growing up, we heard tales of a green, pointy-eared, legendary Jedi Master and... Yoda. Are you talking about Master Yoda? Yes, he is very legendary. Wait, what? Who? No, no, I'm talking about Master Yaddle. Yaddle? The Jedi High Council member? Yeah. We all have our dreams, okay? <laughs> Let me have mine. Yaddle. No problem. <laughs> All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Okay. Okay. Sit down. And you've arrived in Zepho. Look of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, yeah well. something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Couple bubs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. <laughs> Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. If it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. That was a rough landing. Huh. Perfect landing. Perfect. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. All right, let's go, Cal. And BD1. Phone, stop buzzing. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Later. Phone? You're not. Okay, so we can. Okay, we can do stuff again. Break this. No. Okay. Huh. Where do we head from here? We have about two minutes, so I'm not gonna do too much on it. So we just have to stop the recording and maybe mess around with the phones from last time to fix the audio. Maybe. We'll see. Just do something now. Uh, this seems like the right place to go, so I'm gonna... Does it? I don't know. I wanna do some exploration before we do anything. Before we go to not go to oh, That seems like the right place to go, too. Let's go in here. I'm gonna stay risk. Uh, Storage crate. Sturdy storage containers. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Light to apart? Light to apart, right? Oh, new poncho material. Huh. What is this one on my game? It's okay. To be fair, if we're actually going to a place uh, public, wearing a poncho might be oh not too much. Because I don't know if what do they have ponchos hide or lightsaber? Because like No? Not too much? Okay. Whatever. Anything here? No. Can't get through. Okay, that's probably where we'll leave it off guys. So as usual. If you end up liking this video, please leave a like. For more of this content, please subscribe and share your friends. That'd be greatly appreciated. This is Dokota, signing off.